Introduction We have already discussed characteristics, types, modifications and functions of roots, stems, leaf, inflorescence and flowers. Now we will study sporogenesis, gametogenesis, pollination, fertilization, fruits and seeds. Objectives at the end of this lesson, you'll be able to understand sporogenesis, identify pollination, understand fertilization, find out characteristics of fruit, find out types of fruit, find out characteristics of seed, find out types of seeds, study germination of seeds, study juvenility of seeds, Understand semi-technical description of a typical flowering plant. Study description of some important families. Sporogenesis Sporogenesis is the production of spores. Reproductive spores are formed in plants, algae and fungi during their normal reproductive life cycle. Dormant spores are formed for example, by certain fungi and algae, primarily in response to unfavorable growing conditions. Most eukaryotic spores are haploid and form through cell division. Though some types are diploid or dicaryons and form through cell fusion. Gametogenesis Gametogenesis is a process by which diploid or haploid precursor cells undergo cell division and differentiation to form mature haploid gametes. Gametogenesis occurs by meiotic division of diploid gametocytes into various gametes or by mitotic division of haploid gametogenous cells. Example, plants produce gametes through mitosis in gametophytes. The gametophytes grow from haploid spores after sporic meiosis. The existence of a multicellular haploid phase in the life cycle between meiosis and gametogenesis is also referred to as alteration of generations. Pollination Pollination is the process by which pollen is transferred in plants, thereby enabling fertilization and sexual reproduction. Pollen grains which contain the male gametes to where the female gamete are contained with the carpal. The receptive part of the carpal is called a stigma in the flowers of angiosperms. Pollination results in the production of offspring that are genetically diverse. The pollination was discovered in the 18th century by Christian Conrad Sprengel. Fertilization The pollen tubes carry the male gametes to the egg cells in the ovules. Fertilization, the fusion of the male and female elements, leads to embryo development and seed and fruit set. When the egg cells of a flower are fertilized by the male cells from a pollen of the same flower, it is self-fertilization and in other cases it is cross-fertilization. The fruit Fruit is the ripe ovary of the flower developed after fertilization. If a fruit is formed without fertilization of the ovary, it is called a parthenocarpic fruit. The fruit consists of a wall, a pericarp and seeds. The pericarp may be dry or fleshy. When pericarp is thick and fleshy, it is differentiated into the outer epicarp, the middle mesocarp, and the inner endocarp. In mango and coconut, the fruit is known as droop. They develop from monocarpary superior ovaries and are one-seeded. In mango, the pericarp is well differentiated into an outer thin epicarp, a middle fleshy edible mesocarp, and an inner stony hard endocarp. In coconut, which is also a droop, the mesocarp is fibrous. Types of fruits 
Fruits are of three types. Simple fruits, aggregate fruits, composite fruits. Simple fruits. The fruits which develop from monocarpalry or polycarpalry syncarpus. Example, P. Aggregate fruits. The fruits which develop from polycarpalry apocarpus carpal are called aggregate fruits. Each ovary develops into a fruitlet and several fruitlets aggregate together. Example, strawberry. Composite fruits. The fruits which develop from the inflorescence are called composite fruits. Example, pineapple and mulberry. The seed. A ripened ovule consisting of a protective coat enclosing an embryo and food reserves. A propagating organ formed in the sexual reproductive cycle of gymnosperms and angiosperms. All seeds have common parts, an embryo, stored food and protective coverings. The embryo is made up of a radical, an embryonal axis and one in wheat, maize or two cotyledons as in gram and pea. It gives rise to a new plant on germination of seed. Types of seeds The seeds of angiosperms can be divided into two types. Monocotyledonous seeds, dicotyledonous seeds. The seeds containing only one cotyledon are called monocotyledonous seeds. Example, maize. The seeds containing two cotyledons are called dicotyledonous seeds. Example, Nilumbo nucifera. Structure of dicotyledonous seed. In dicotyledonous seed, the outermost covering of a seed is the seed coat. The seed coat has two layers, the outer tester and the inner tegmen. The hilum is a scar on the seed coat through which the developing seeds were attached to the fruit. Just above the hilum is a small pore called micropyle. Inside the seed coat is the embryo, consisting of an embryonal axis and two cotyledons, often fleshy and full of reserve food materials. At the two ends of the embryonal axis, are present the radical and the plumule. In some seeds, such as castor, the endosperm formed as a result of double fertilization is a food storing tissue. In plants such as bean, gram, and pea, the endosperm is not present in mature seeds, and such seeds are called non endospermous. Example, gram. The structure of monocotyledonous seed. Monocotyledonous seeds are endospermic, but some, as in orchids, are non-endospermic. In the seeds of cereals such as maize, the seed coat is membranous and generally fused with the fruit wall. The endosperm is bulky and stores food. The outer covering of endosperm separates the embryo by a proteinous layer called a lurone layer. The embryo is small and situated in a groove at one end of the endosperm. It consists of one large and shield-shaped cotyledon known as scutellum and a short axis with a plumule and a radical. The plumule and radical are enclosed in sheets which are called coleoptile and coleoriza respectively. Germination of seeds Germination is the growth of an embryonic plant contained within a seed. It results in the formation of the seedling. Fully developed seeds contain an embryo and in most plant species some store of food reserves wrapped in a seed coat. The growth of a sporling from a spore, example, the growth of hyphae from fungal spores is also germination. 
Description of some important families for Basi. This family was earlier called Papillionaceae, a subfamily of family Leguminosae. It is distributed all over the world. Systematic position. Kingdom Plantae. Subkingdom Phenerograms. Division Dicotyledony. Class Polypetaly. Series Calicifloria. Order Rosales. Family Leguminosae. Subfamily Papillionosae. Family Fabaceae. Vegetative characters. Trees, shrubs, herbs, root with root nodules, stem, erect or climber, leaves, alternate, pinnately compound or simple, leaf base, pulvinate, stipulate, venation reticulate, floral characters, inflorescence, race mose, flower, bisexual, zygomorphic, calyx, sepals 5, gamosepalus, imbricate estivation, corolla, petals 5, polypetalus, papillinaceous, consisting of a posterior standard, two lateral wings, two anterior ones forming a keel, enclosing stamens and pistil, vexillary estivation, androsium, 10. Didelphus, Antha dithecus, Gynosium, Ovary superior, Monocarpulary, Unilocular with many ovules, Style single, Fruits, Legume, Seed, One to many, Non endospermic. Floral formula is, And this is the floral diagram. Economic importance. Pulses. Many plants belonging to the family are sources of pulses. Example. Pisum sativum, P. Sisa arientum, Gram. Cajanus cajun. Arhardal or Turdal. Phasilus mungo, Sink. Vigna mungo, Uraddal. Phasilus radiatus, Mungdal. Vigna sinensis, Lobia. Phasilus vulgaris, French or kidney bean or rajma. Lens esculentum, masur dal. Latherus sativus, kesari dal. Fibers. Crotularia genesia. Sunhemp from phloem. Fibers are obtained which is used in making ropes, canvas, nets, bags. Edible oil. Edible oil is extracted from soybean. Glycine Max Groundnut Dye Indigofera tinctoria gives indigo or neel and Bute monosperma gives tasu or dark. Ornamental Ornamental plants are Latherus odoratus, sweet pea, Clitoria tanacea, butterfly pea, and Erythrina coral tree. Fodder Fodder is obtained from Sesbania and Trifolium. Solanaceae. It is a large family, commonly called as the potato family. It is widely distributed in tropics, subtropics, and even temperate zones. Systematic position. Kingdom, plantae. Subkingdom, phendrogams. Division, dicotyledony. Class, polypetaly. Series, bicarpaleti. Order Polymonialis, Family Solanaceae. Vegetative Characters Plants mostly, herbs, shrubs, and small trees. Stem Herbaceous, rarely woody, aerial, erect, cylindrical, branched, solid or hollow, hairy or glabrous, underground stem in potato, solanum tuberosum. Leaves Alternate, simple, rarely pinnately compound, extipulate, venation reticulate. Floral characters 
inflorescence, solitary, axillary, or cymose, as in solanum. Flower, bisexual, actinomorphic. Calyx, sepals five, united, persistent, valvate estivation. Corolla, petals five, united, valvate estivation. Androsium, stamens five, epipetalous. Gynosium, bicarpalry, syncarpus, ovary superior, bilocular, placenta swollen with many ovules. Fruits, berry or capsule. Seeds, many endospermous. Floral formula is, and this is the floral diagram. Economic importance. Tubers of solanum tuberosum potato are rich in starch. Fruits of solanum melongina, brinjal or eggplant have iodine. Fruits of Lycopersicon esculentum, tomato are edible. Capsicum anum, chilies, provide spices. Physalis peruviana gives Cape gooseberry a tasty fruit. From the roots of Atropa belladonna, and in eye testing to dilate pupil. From leaves and fruits of the Thura metal and the Thura estramonium is extracted which contains alkaloid atropine. It is used in eye testing. From dried leaves and flowers, medicine Hyosimus niger henbane is obtained which is used in treatment of asthma and whooping cough. From roots of Vithania somnifera, Ashwagandha, drug ashwagandha is extracted, which is used in cough and rheumatism. Nicotiana tobaccum is used in berries and cigarettes. Tobacco contains two alkaloids, nicotine and anabasine. Both these alkaloids are narcotic and cause a depressing effect on the central nervous system. As medicine, tobacco has sedative and antispasmodic effect. Petunia and cestrum are ornamental plants. Liliaceae, commonly called the lily family, is a characteristic representative of monocotyledonous plants. It is distributed worldwide. Systematic position, kingdom plantae, subkingdom phenerogams, division monocotyledony, series. Coronary Family Liliaceae Vegetative Characters Perennial herbs with underground bulbs, combs, rhizomes, leaves mostly basal, alternate, linear, extipulate with parallel venation. Floral Characters Inflorescence Solitary Cymose Often umbellate clusters Flower Bisexual Actinomorphic, perianth tepal 6 3 plus 3, often united into tube, velvet estivation. Androsium, stamen 6 3 plus 3. Gynosium, tricarpalry, syncarpus, ovary superior, trilocular with many ovules, exile placentation. Fruit, capsule, rarely berry. Seeds, Endospermus. Floral formula is, and this is the floral diagram. Economic importance. Many plants belonging to this family are good ornamentals. For example, tulipa, gloriosa, lilium, aloe, ruscus, asparagus, yucca, drosina, etc. Fleshy leaf basis of leaves of Alium sepa are edible. Bulbs of Alium sativum are edible. Sarsaparilla is extracted from roots of Smilax china, Smilax, which is used in skin disease. Colchicine is extracted from combs of Colchicum autumnal, which is used to induce polyploidy. Aloin is extracted from aloe which is used in skin discomforts. 
while aloe vera juice is used for digestive disorders. Did you know? Coconut, water chestnut, peanut, groundnut, betel nut, pine nut are examples of false nut. Bitter taste of some cucurbits is due to presence of triterpenes. Lodoisi maldivisa is largest fruit and largest seed. Seeds of orchids are minute, dry and lighter than sand particles. Summary Let us summarize what we have learned. After fertilization, the ovary is converted into fruits and ovules into seeds. Seeds either may be monocotyledonous or dicotyledonous. They vary in shape, size and period of viability. The floral characteristics form the basis of classification and identification of flowering plants. This can be illustrated through semi-technical descriptions of families. A flowering plant is described in a definite sequence by using scientific terms. The floral features are represented in the summarized form as floral diagrams and floral formula.